<laughs> uh, I was like, oh yeah, this game's already over, bro. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Alright, but yeah, man, this is the last Winterside Top 32 match to qualify for Top 8, Nighthawks and Orion. Oh yeah, they did get started. Yeah, look at them. They're starting on Kalos, interestingly enough. Uh, this is the first time we've ever seen a complete different stage from the three norm that we've gone so far. And Lucas got his own skin on deck. So does Wolf. Look. Yeah. The, 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 oh my god. I wonder. Wait, if you, you saw like uh, you know the the color animation too, like for for that up tilt. Did it's it's, it's oh, red. Oh, it's red. Yeah. yeah. No, I I love F, like FX just like being different colors. I would make them all yellow if I could. Yeah, that's so dope, man. Again, like the attention to detail with these guys, man, for this tournament is so sick. One of my favorite mods actually is they gave Pikachu yellow electricity, and it actually looks so good. Like, oh, is that gonna do? Y'all gotta stuff? start SDIing that, man. Just SDI straight in, you'll pop it right out of it. But I guess most people don't play against Lucas. Yeah, I was. Gonna, I mean, well, even with the the amount of oh, no way you win with that. No, I, no I, I, way, bro. No, Nighthawk literally unhinged. Nighthawk was not ready for this a uh, crazy aggressive option from Orion, man. Oh, what? That double jump did not hit him in any sense of the universe. Oh, that hello. Works. Oh yeah, Magnet kind of just does that. I'll just going through off stage. You killed with PK Magnet. <laughs> He was at 170 to be fair. Psy magnet, excuse me, but still, I mean, 170. You still don't think that's a move that's gonna kill off. Hey man, this what a first game though between these players, man. What that's what I love. This this matchup's a slobber knocker for real. You see the way the wolf is moving around. He's kind of just moving in that. Like you know how you play against Min Min when you're just in that diagonal space. Mm -hmm. It's kind of how you have, to, you have to play against Lucas too because he did, he can't get up super far, super fast, and his fair does not hit like any anywhere above him. So you kind of just have to play at that range the entire time. Yeah, I agree. But nonetheless, I mean, I like these tricky, you know, the recovery options, uh, you know, from Orion. But nonetheless, you know, Nighthawks was pretty much ready for it that time. Opt to throw him back off stage. Still relatively, pretty much even. Damn near. Like percentages are pretty much even at this point. Oh, Both absolutely. at 95. Point the parry. Oh, gonna get the dash attack. The soft dash attack is gonna push him right off stage. He's gonna go for a nair. Guy able to recover. Ness now has, or excuse me, Lucas. I mean, he kind of looks like Ness. But Lucas is gonna have stage oh, here. Gonna good whip punish the grab though. into the back air. Nice whiff punish from Orion. Saw that Nighthawk was a little too greedy with that grab there and it ate a full on full back air from Orion. Yeah, these these characters are just kind of moving around each other in neutral. You're kind of just waiting on net. You're waiting on Lucas to move around. He's fading backwards with these PK fires, fading back with these fares. And it's going to be all up to uh, to Orion to actually make it through the wall and get on in and do some damage. 51%, 61% already. Be careful shooting those lasers. Remember, Lucas does have an option to kind of just yeah, yeah. absorb it. And like, I feel like laser will like recover at least like maybe like 15% or whatnot. About 15, yeah. 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 You going wow wow wow. Yeah. All right. But the PK fire nonetheless. Going to throw Orion off stage. Oh, a bad recovery, the up throw, and that's going to do it. All right, last stock. That was a little bit of a weird placement to put that side. That's very true. I mean, I guess, you know, he probably felt like that, you know, Orion was going to try to jump and catch him with another PK fire, hoping to get the trade, if not just a raw kill, you know, full rage. That's definitely a dangerous move that you don't want to get caught hit with. Absolutely. Oh, you're going to get oh, caught no double jump here. Oh, I thought he was going to go. Down smash, the classic from the wolf, catching him on the recovery. Nice catch from Orion. Taking that first game over Nighthawks. I thought he was going to go all the way down there with that down air. I would not have been surprised. We saw how, like, every time that he's caught Nighthawks without a jump off stage, that he's gone down there to with a very aggressive option. We saw before he tried to go with the nair. He tried to go with the backer as well. Remember that not. side beat from earlier, though? The one that he caught him in the air for yeah, the first stock? That was, that was, that Absolute was. bonkers, man. Who goes for he's that, like, bro? like, you're going to be right around there. Got Clearly, you know, Nighthawks was not ready for that. I don't think anybody was, man. But what a ballsy play from Orion. On to go for that, you know, that wolf flash, and it worked out. It clearly worked hey, out. Hey, he won the he won the game. Can't argue with that. Yeah, man. But nonetheless, you know, first game going to Orion. You know, we'll see what happens here if Night Talks can make some adjustments and whatnot. I feel like Wolf's that perfect weight where you know these Zer trains will definitely work dividends for him. But it look, doesn't look like he's gotten the opportunity to get something like that started. Absolutely. So, so we'll see what happens. I don't know. Game two. Um, Lucas is the original noob character. Let it be known. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're, we're either going to see, you know, Pokemon Stadium or we're going to see a small battlefield because I feel like... I don't know. We saw Kalos, so, I mean... Yeah, but this, this is, uh, you know, this is Night Talks' counterpick, and I feel like what we saw earlier when he was playing against uh, Ogi, you know, they they kept playing nonstop on small battlefield and, um, and Pokemon Stadium. So, we'll see what happens here. He probably wants the full, you know, full length of the stage. So, we might see Town and City, honestly. 
That'd be interesting, actually. Yeah, Town and City is a pretty good stage for Luke Selfie. Oh, Booby go for FD. Okay, all right. The, the dark horse, quite literally, almost. And this is honestly, this is the first time we've seen FD in a minute too. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah, the side magnet. Sixteen percent. All right. Nonetheless, game two here on FD. Relatively close. We just got started. Nice catch, though. Oh, Good parry. Wow. No, the ledge trapping is going really well here. Lucas, uh, these characters are going to ledge trap each other super hard. Going for the footstool out of shield, not going to find it. Oh, you oh, got it. Oh, my goodness. And what a placement, too, because those hits each only last two frames. So you know that he actually had a time. Yeah, man, that was absolutely nutty confirmation from Night Talk. Oh, oh. oh goodness gracious. Don't look at the shield. Stay in, the, stay in that safe bubble. His, uh, his, the outside world is a very harmful place. Nice. Okay. You know, it looks like, you know, Night Talk's obviously realizing that Orion likes to get pretty aggressive off stage here. Just nice, likes to play it, you know, nice and safe and whatnot. Just going to catch him landing and get all this, you know, extra credit that he can get for this first stock. Uh, gotta go for it again. Lucas is lackless enough to where he kind of just stays in the, uh, excuse me, he stays in the Phantom Footstool range and doesn't really take much knockback and then Wolf just kind of flies away. Oh, we could, that could have been a punish there. You know, maybe like a narrow out of shield, but unfortunately goes for a jab instead. Not entirely sure what he was looking for, but that could have been the stock actually for Nighthawks. But Orion, you know, whiffing that punish, it's going to eat some more damage here as Nighthawks just extend this lead. Nice, finally gets the up smash. Not, not enough, not though. On FD ceiling, really? Oh, wow. The side magnet. All that up smash damage is just completely gone, and the... The back throw's still not enough either. This character cannot kill. Uh, I swear, on everything. The dash tag, not going to do it. doesn't matter. Lucas is still chilling. Now we got a full rage Lucas. Going to pull him off with that side magnet and just take stage control back for free. That was actually a that really good sneaky. maneuver. That was sneaky. Yeah, it was very smart. Wow. He pointed the, at the ground. The uh, pullback, too, from the, the start up on down smash was literally just enough to fade away from that up to with more than likely would have secured that stock for, uh, for Orion. Here. Yep, the end all be all. Tef, death, taxes, wolf back here. All right, finally, Orion getting that first talk off night talks, but still at City. At a very dangerous percent at 104, 114 now. Uh -oh. The down smash still has his jump though. Early recovery on the wolf flash to evade PK freeze, but unable to make it to ledge Orion on his last stock here in this game too. And that's where the that's where FD pick really comes in. You kind of just trade. You can train Wolf off stage, and then you can put him in that position. And he's actually been pulling the trigger on these down smashes really well. He's been finding them. We hit a back air. Not gonna send him off stage enough. Gonna go for it again. Uh -oh, gonna catch no him. jump. Uh oh, gonna catch him again. Maybe a three for. Ah. Nice. This is the tech and he's a four for his troubles here. Oh, the the. The ledge trump up air, not something you see super often, but you're going to deal a good amount of damage. But the damage is what you need right now. You need to take a stock off of this Lucas before you can start working on the last one and maybe make a comback and force a 2-0 uh, lead. But the way that it's playing out, Nidox has this on. Nidox has this neutral on hand. It's not happening. Yeah, man, he's been ready every time that where Orion shot a laser off stage and just absorbs it and just heals some extra percent as much as he can here. And honestly, that's pretty much just working in his favor to help extend this lead over, you know, Orion. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, you're kind of just waiting for this hit to pull on through. The, n Lucas's hits aren't... Oh, oh, what a massive read. God. He got down till on reaction said, you are, I see you got hit by this. You are going to jump and air dodge in. He's like, yeah, man. That was, right, that was right there, man. That was conditioning. No shampoo there. We saw the down tilt try to go for the instant grab. But, you know, Orion air dodge through. So when he got that, that follow up down tilt, realizing that he's probably going to panic air dodge again. Let me go for this massive read with the four smash. Mm -hmm. Caught him lacking and secured that second game over Orion. And we have a game three situation here. And I'll... Uh, We'll see what happens, man. You know, right now, these games have just been nothing but back and forth. You know, first game we saw, it was all Orion. And right out of nowhere, Nighthawks came in clutch with this counter pick on FD and cleaned him up game two. He's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. We got a set going on here. I'm going to make it so. And we might see the just game fives. Game fives on stream all day. Yeah, for real. The past two sets that we got were both game fives. So. I would not be surprised if we got another one. It looks like the only 3-0 that we've had right now in top 32 in the, in the winner's quarters has been Leon and Mazza. And guess which one was not on stream that day? Mazza and Leon. I, I hear PK Fires going on. There it is. Woohoo! All right, here we go. Running it back on Kalos, recognizing that this was the game that he wanted, like, uh, pretty solid. 
So yeah. why not run it back to the, the stage? That's which so he did funny it. that PK or PSI Magnet just pulls Wolf off stage. I feel like if Nitox is prepared for that, he can pull him off and then just down air him for his trouble. Yeah, for real, right? I was thinking the same thing. Like, that's very scary that he's able to just pretty much just pull him off the stage like that, just literally yoinks him away. All right, but nonetheless, you know, stocks and percentage is pretty much even right now. So we'll see this is anyone's game right now. We'll see what can happen here. I would not be surprised if Orion just rode that momentum from game two and picked it up all the way here for game three. I feel like the way these two play are playing neutral can best be described as trench warfare to where there's a very clear line between them at all times that neither of them elect to cross. And if one of them crosses it, you are going all out going for this hit. And if you don't get it, you are going to get thrown off stage and you might just die. Nice. But speaking of might just dying here, you know, no jump here for Orion. Able to get away from that down smash. The four tilt catching the neutral get up Ooh, another four there. that could have been in there and that yeah. would have secured the stock too but doesn't matter you get the two frame with the up tilt you're gonna find that stock only 68 percent and you're gonna be able to move around Kalos with your top 10 air mobility and just kind of negate all these iframes that lucas has yeah well, i mean nonetheless the great stuff though from orion it was, honestly it was the same thing we saw in game one that we didn't see much of in game two you know catching it with these two uh these two frames or you know catching it with the aggressive options off stage Absolutely. Yeah, Ness is kind of finding his way back. He has a stock deficit, so he has to take the stock off of Wolf right about now if he wants to make this a game. However, the way that Orion is moving, you can kind of just realize that he knows exactly where Ness can, where Lucas can put hitboxes. He knows where Lucas is a threat. He's going to be like, mm, I'm not going to go to this places. You know how a doctor, when you oh. tell a doctor that your arm broke in three places and they tell you not to go to those places, that's the way Orion, that's the way Orion. It just makes you, that, it makes you want to go to that place even more. But nonetheless, though, it looks like, you know, this has been all like Orion right now with the is confirmed uh, as we see here the nair catches the neutral tech with a uh, dash attack as well unfortunately gets the knock up you know variation of knockback instead of the one throwing him off stage which would have been more beneficial for uh, for orion I, don't, I couldn't tell you how wolf dash attack works if you put a gun to my head that is just not happening it's got so many hitboxes it can send in any literally any direction yeah, I'm liking these these mix up recoveries though from Orion. I mean, like again, like uh, he's fully utilized in the walls on this stage to his best advantage to recover safely. Up throw, just enough to do it. And right now, stocks are even, but percentage is looking pretty dangerous right now for Nitox. Gonna go for the nair conversion. Good parry. Ooh. Only gonna go for a down tilt, uh, a down tilt into jab for his troubles. I don't think down tilt combos into much at this percent, but you know, he's gonna combo at this percent. A raw back here into taking your stock. <laughs> now you can start working on his final stock and possibly go up in a two to one lead. This is looking very good for Orion right now. Big damage for Orion right now on Nitox's last stock. Good parry, finds the punish as well. Right now, again, this is looking just like all Orion. Even though Nitox sealed that second game pretty heavily, that momentum clearly did not carry over too hard as Orion has been all over him this entire third game. And I wonder what changed between the Kalos pick and the FD pick because you kind of realize that Nitox was owning on FD. But I wonder what the difference is between here and Orion because the stages aren't providing much in the way of like escape options, and it's still an FD of sorts. But I wonder what the change was made. Oh, you might just here. Oh, good match out though to recover from that. But I feel like you know like uh, the wall and the, the added platforms is definitely you know paying dividends for Orion in terms of recovery one now like it does not look like Nitox is ready for that I feel like that's why he went to FD you know to take those platforms away from him and walls as we saw like you know Orion tends to abuse the grab goes for up throw recognizing that back throw was not going to seal it at that moment in time but this next one might we gonna get the fair the weak hit is not gonna be able to do it just yet 144 percent on this lucas this is a very situ serious, scary situation to be in pk fire is gonna reset neutral gonna get hit by the pk freeze but you're actually gonna be able to reflect it so you're actually chilling right now. all right still this is looking very dangerous right now for nitox gets grabbed back throw is that gonna be enough still not enough just yet wasn't toward the going? ledge <laughs> oh, oh no, no. Orion. Doable, doable. Definitely, honestly, I would not be surprised if Nitox stole this from Orion. Let's see it. Down air off, off stage. Yeah, you are going way too far off stage, my friend, for what could happen. I, if I'm Orion right now, I am staying right in that middle of that blue. For set. real, just play the neutral one now, because like any small slip up from Nitox will seal the game here. Instead, you know, he's playing a little overzealous and letting oh, this percent move? rack on. This is a scary position to be in. You have to up be here. That tilt is not going to take it just yet. Oh, fight off the aggressive there. Oh, uh, the whiz grab eats the dash attack for his troubles. Big punish though from Orion, able Kick. to get that whiff punish on the grab there. 
Night Talks, unfortunately, you know, falling a little short there. This is game four, though. He has another lease at life. Let's see if he can make this happen or if Orion is going to take this 3-1 and move on to top eight winners. Absolutely, we got... But the way that things have been playing out recently, we're going to see. I would not be surprised either if we didn't get it, yeah. Because we've had nothing but top, you know, just game fives, both scenarios. I feel like we're getting into that time in the morning where we're actually getting, like, the normal American viewers at this point. I would not be surprised. It's yeah. not even, it's not degenerate hours anymore. Yeah, yeah, no, it, you know, it's, it's 10 a.m., you know, East Coast time and whatnot. You know, people are pretty much up, if not just started getting started to wake up, so... It's exciting here because, you know, we also have Riptide happening over there as well in, uh, in Ohio. I'm actually, uh, I w when does Riptide start for Top 48? Uh, I believe it's the last game, so it would probably be Melee first and then Ultimate. Or it might be the other way around. But, but for Top 48? Oh, for Top 48, you're right. I forgot that it's not just Top 8. Right. Probably, yeah. It's probably starting around this time. It's not 12 o'clock, maybe. But nonetheless here, man, we got Eurostep. This is what we're tuning into right now here. Game 4 between Nitox and Orion. And we are going to see the town and city pick. I did say this is a very good stage for Lucas because he has a lot of moves to move around. He has a lot of room to just space these PK, PK fires and not give up too much stage control. But this is where Wolf goes to kill you very early. You can be put in a grave at 30% if you're not careful. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, Lucas also wants to, like, try to kill off the side bla uh, blast zones as well. Just oh, no, wait, you're going for that. As what Wolf does... Yo, Orion is playing a little crazy right now, man. This man has Balls of Steel going for an aggressive option like that. All right, he's going to get caught with the fair. Does he have a jump? Yes, he does. And he's not oh, he air dodged through the ledge. Unfortunately, that's not something you want to see happen here to qualify for top eight. But nonetheless, Nitox will take that to the bank, man. Like, this, uh, any way he can secure the dub, he will. I've never seen this many SDs in a top 32 of, like, a bracket like this. Hey, man, the nerves are starting to hit crazy, man. These people, they need to be ready for Oh, no, that's another stock. He's not going to make that back. The side magnet literally stole him away from the stage. <laughs> it's like the demons under your bed just rack you by the ankles. It's just like, <laughs> 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 paranormal activity. Just get robbed from your bed real quick. Oh, no, what? Kill him, at, kill him at zero again. Oh. But yeah, game five. Game five. Game five. Game five. Game five. I would have. Yeah, game five. Uh, Everybody go grab some snacks. Uh, we're gonna wait this one out real quick. Yeah, game five. This game did not happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of want to run to Wawa right now. Let's go. Wawa. Oh, four till. Okay. All right. I mean, nonetheless, you know, we'll see if Orion has what it takes to bring this all the way back. Honestly. I would not be surprised if Nitox just cleaned this up right now, but finally gets that grab back throw. Gonna do it. Is it bad that I thought that back throw wouldn't do it for just a half second? <laughs> Lucas is lightweight, man. Come on. 190, he better die. <laughs> is he lightweight? I thought he was like medium weight. Yeah. He's a kid, man. Let him be light. Fair enough. But look at that head. He's got a, he's got a big head. Oh. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Wolf. Wait a minute. Oh, school. Does he have a jump? He does. I don't even know if he does or not, but he's going to be able to recover. Yeah, that, I like the placement of the up because it either hits uh, Orion or he just hits himself and goes back to center stage with, with a very safe position. And here's where you start to take trades. Here's where you start to like scrap with Wolf. You may lose a stock at this point, and that's fine because as long as you rack up like 100, 100, 120%, you are doing absolutely fine. Yeah, and he's getting close to that. And at the same time, like uh, using the fact that, you know, Orion is going for these neutral, you know, grounded lasers, you know, Nighttime is going to take full advantage and side magnet and heal straight off of it. Ah, uh, not going to get that Wolf up smash and instead get fared for his troubles. 150% on this Wolf. Going to get hit with the up B. Going to find it. The up. Uh oh, you know he wanted a back air. Even then, though, that was such a, like, a smart punish, though, to go for that down air. Unfortunately, did not get the back air that he was probably looking to get. But still, big damage nonetheless. And, uh, you know, slowly but surely, you know, Orion is definitely trying to bring this back. Not giving up quite just yet, even with those unfortunate two deaths uh, you know, early in this game. Nice. Good cast. Down tilt to sweet spot forward tilt. That is a real thing, ladies and gentlemen. That was clean, man. That was smooth stuff, though, from Nighthawks. I mean, granted, you know, honestly, this game was looking a little, little, little hey, dirty there. Wait, wait, wait. See, what game? It's game five, bro. It's game five. It's game five. It's game five. Another game five scenario, man. You already know the vibes. That's all we got here is Eurostep. Game five all the way. Game five, and oh, goodness gracious, we got a, what a wonderful set. We have Orion versus Nitox. We got a little bit of Wolf on action, a little bit of Lucas action. You know, uh, Lucas, honestly, like we said before, man, that's not a character you see so often, bro. It, it's really the character specialists that really love with this game and really in love with this character that make it possible because not many people pick up this game and say, I'm gonna play I, Lucas. I would really <laughs> love to play Mew. I, I don't know. I had Mewtwo on the mind for some reason. <laughs> 
But yeah, Lucas is the character for me. All right, game five, though. Here we are. We're running it back here on Kalos. I'm not sure, you know, if like you know, if Nighthawks is opting to ban something else, but he's completely just been been having to be taken here to Kalos, and all other games that Orion has won has been here on Kalos. I think he has to. He's forced to like ban a few certain sages that actually have to get off the list, and Kalos is like the lesser of those evils. I agree. He's probably getting rid of something like Yoshi's and maybe like you know a battlefield and whatnot. But honestly, homeboy got fair bared. The classic, bro. The bread and butter it pays the bills. It does more than that, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the whole butler to the match. Nonetheless, though, man, that was so big for Orion. He's probably going to ride this momentum all the way. I honestly, like, when you're playing a character like Wolf and you get these big confirms, that literally, like, empowers you to literally push through all the way. It gives you all that extra momentum you need to secure a dub. And honestly, this is exactly what Orion was looking for. And... Nighthawks has got to figure something out if he wants to bring this back. Nice air train to the down tilt, forward tilt. Clean combo. Still not enough to do it yet. Again, these tricky recoveries from Orion. Just going to be able to get on stage with no problem whatsoever. There's nothing scarier in this world than a wolf with protagonist energy, I will say it right now. That's very true. Because they start moving around and they realize that wolf is broken and all his aerial oh. are broken. But finally going to be able to find this PK freeze. 42% on this Lucas, so it's actually not too undoable. But now you're going to be put in a juggle situation. You're forced to land on an no. empty like stage. How do you do it against wolf? 94% and climbing. Going to double jump to get around that nair. Not going to find it just yet, but the PK fire is going to create a little bit space but he goes right back in and gets nared for his troubles yeah man nonetheless though you know Nighthawks has got to figure something out he's eating way too much percentage here if he wants to bring this back he's got to get something started he needs to do it now because he's some. Oh, that, that, that is, yeah that's a good way to start stopping something all right still nonetheless nice up smash and that's enough to do it right now Nighthawks on his winner side stock or Orion looking to close this out and move on to top eight this, look at the way he's playing he's playing right around Lucas's threat range he's not forcing any options he's just kind of moving around he's waiting for Lucas to super commit but actually getting that parry is going to open him up Nighthawk's doing a really good job and he's not out of this fight just yet but the way Wolf is moving around makes it so hard for Lucas to connect anything meaningful 11% you can heal that right back up but unless you're uh, he, uh, goodness gracious he, oh. he picks and chooses battles now Ooh, he's already big damage oh no wait you're going for that honestly I would not have been surprised if you Wolf flashed all the way out there man That'd be As you uh, saw before, bro, like, oh, Oriel's the type of player to do that. 112, goodness gracious. Where did the, where did the stock go, man? Oh, no jump. Oh, flash oh, okay. Able to recover safely. Ooh, a little too early releasing the trigger on that down smash. That could have been the set. Nonetheless, though, Orion sitting real comfortable right now. Has a full stock lead. All night that's the sweet stop back air. That's going to do it. That hit him? Probably caught him pressing a button, extending his hitbox. I, I suppose that spacing was like picture perfect. 